Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the fifth and hopefully, possibly the final episode of. Well, pay attention to your bunnies, Zyruger. But um, hopefully, the fifth and final episode of Fist Forged and Shadow Torch. Um, I'm your host, Iron Dragon. Quick reminder, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see and you want to support the channel, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Because when the last we left off, we were about to head into the finale of the game. Which is the Coastal Fortress and... And I kind of seriously wish... seriously wish that I had gone ahead with my plan to go ahead and make it back to uh, Joffrey Street off camera. But I didn't, so here we are. I still want to go back to Joffrey Street though, because of all the stuff we, we uh, the seeds and stuff he picked up. I still want to know how I'm supposed to get all the way up there to get that seed. I know what's up there. Namely, two jets of flame. Yay. I'm really hoping I haven't missed anything because, well, this door over here I just simply can't open because I lack three of the pieces for it and have no idea where the other mystery shards are.
I'm kind of worried that the last item or last piece of equipment is hidden behind that door. Central Station is one of the areas where I've only got about 87% uh, of it, according to this. And I imagine what's left of it is the other side of that double, that uh, very punchable door over here. Unfortunately, if I remember correctly, it's only punchable from the other side. Can't punch that. On the other hand, now I do have the ability to make my way through currents that I couldn't before. So maybe it's one of those. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's another SP essence there. And before we get blown all the way back over that way, let's reverse course.
and that blows us into the underground lake. Somehow, I am not surprised. Which we have gotten 100% of the underground lake. And now 100% of Central Station. So. Hey Mary, good to see you. It happens. Having that grapple point makes it so much easier to get back up here. But I still can't get through this door, which tells me that there's something down in the sewers that I just haven't gotten to yet. I thought I might be able to get through there now, but apparently not. I also haven't been able to get through the entire power station, but I'm not entirely sure I want to take the time to go through it on camera.
the fact that I don't have enough data disks to unlock everything. Well, I know there's a data disk there that I haven't picked up, so that's one of them, but still. Thank goodness for the temporary invulnerability that I have now when I do that. And of course, not needing to stop and fill up my oxygen every couple of seconds helps too. I'm trying to figure out what part of this I haven't uncovered because there's like 25% of the power station I haven't gotten to yet. Oh yes, this. Now, how did I not notice that was up here the last time? That was easy to get. And puts me up at 75. Chair, move. <coughs> Note to self, do something about the rollers on that chair. This is the way I need to come later. There's 
Never got a shot off. Another one that was way easier than I gave it credit for. Definitely already been up here. See, this is a whole section of the power station I've not been in. Oh, goody. Boss. I don't like the fact that you get about six hits out of that. Or that he has two power bars. everything over this way. Hauser was an interesting and tough enemy. I would not want to face him on the uh, hard, on a harder difficulty level really.
Oh, another plant seed. Oh, another plant seed that retracted from me because it wants to do this. another plant seed. That's never bad. Because you get paid for each one anyway. And then that leads over into the underwater base, which is about 20% untouched. Stop exploding. you winding up for that one. And that opens this path again. 89.88%. We're getting there. Yeah, if you fall all the way down, fortunately, you now have the drill to get you back up. Wonder if there's any... Nope, there's not. Reconnects to there. Aha. Why am I not surprised? down here where I can get you. Yeah. 
Kansas to do this time. Yeah, it was. And got another poster from there. It for this little corner. And find nothing over there. Okay. Figured there was something else up here. Yeah, there is. Uh huh, figured. Dear God. Unfortunately, they don't individually have a lot of hit points, but still. This one, on the other hand... Presto! All my secondaries are now bigger. I can actually have four doses of carrot juice. And the power station is now at 100%, so I'll make my way over to the underwater base, which is only at 80. Ow, that's, my, that's on me. You didn't even have time to explode. I 
hate those guys when they do that. I do still want to go back to uh, Jofra when I get through with this section because I do have two posters to turn in. Mm. Oh ho, I see something. That's the back route into the prison, which is only at 85%, so... I wasn't originally going to try to, 100 to get to 100% on everything, but I might. I just gotta figure out where in the underwater base I haven't been, and that would be down there to get that seed, and over there to get that data disk. Now that I have the power to get through some of these this stuff. <laughs> Plus you don't know what I'll I don't know what I'll find that I can take back to Joffre. Well, technically what I can take back to Ursa, Urso and uh, that dude that's collecting the seeds, but you get the idea. Next section over. If I remember correctly, it was currents that was keeping me from getting anywhere. Or, or I'm just wrong and I was misremembering. Yep, misremembering, but hey, here's another plant that I couldn't get to earlier. That guy who collects the seeds is going to be giving me a lot of stuff.
thankfully I don't have to go up there. All of that's explored except for, well, that one door up there. But I have a feeling I have to come in the back way from the prison. Is what this is good for. We need to go a little bit further for this. Another plant seed. I have no idea how many total I have, but I have a lot. And there's another one up there that I couldn't get to earlier either. But, you see how it is, and this is true of most Metroidvanias, at least the ones that I've played, which, admittedly, isn't very many, is that once you have the equipment, you can go back and pick up a lot of stuff that you missed. Silly me. Okay, and walk to the right. Till that first big drop. Which I think is right here. Yes, it is. See ya. Thanks for committing suicide. Appreciate it. Yep. Probably shouldn't have said that. YouTube will probably flag that because I used the S word. It's like I said on my Discord channel, YouTube is going from YouTube to you can't say that tube. That is true. I don't have to worry about it yet. Maybe someday, if I ever get more than, you know, 20 or 30 subscribers, another plant seed. Oh, 
Oh wait, there's something else up there. At the very least, something else I can break through. This is part of the arsenal, I think. Goody. Yep, part of the arsenal area. There's a note. Flying Mouse, come here for a visit. It seems Flip has been here. another data disc for unlocking more skills when it finally lets me. Eastside News, Issue 6. Huh. Issue 6, Alley Dragon 3 Parry Guide. I've been staying home playing my favorite game, Alley Dragon 3, for personal reasons. Why do I have the feeling that Alley Dragon 3 is another game from the same developers? I've had my fun, so here's my guide to parrying. You'll love it. First, a recap on how to do a parry. Press the directional buttons and face the attack an instant before it lands to parry. A successful parry offers huge benefits. 
It uncover not only blocks the attack, but can also unbalance the enemy. You also recover SP, so you kill three birds with one stone. Timing is critical to successful parrying. Parry timing is different for each opponent. I must commend Alley Dragon 3 on its realism. The game is heavily based on real-world fighting moves. The skills learned in Alley Dragon 3 may help in an unexpected way in the real-life combats. And hello, D-Factor. Another upgrade. And now I can parry <laughs> without using my, uh, without using those, uh, Tonfa sticks. Somehow I sort of suspected something like that might happen. Didn't parry that successfully. Or that. Arsenal is up at 85% now. This is right below, the arsenal is right below the fortress. Goody. Oh, I don't want to go to the fortress just yet. use that elevator though just to get that data disk that's up there Basically, for those who might be new to this stream and they're curious, 
We're currently doing a little bit of cleanup of collectibles and such. And also getting some accidental damage. Don't know why I didn't get that one earlier. That one was easy to get. Okay, so all the way back down. indestructible and if you get hit by them you, they, you usually get hit at least twice another plant seed for me to take back to the guy in Jaffra The arsenal's at 96% now, so... Let's back up and see if I can get through one of those doors that I haven't been able to open yet. And then there's a couple doors on this level. Yeah, I need a battery to get through that one. Come on. 
that's the thing that I don't like about the batteries is that it's not always very precise and it does stuff like that. right over. Okay, I quit. Let's just head back to Joffre and turn in all the collectibles that I've gotten so far. And let's see. It's good. The trip back isn't that far, really. Because one of the games teleportation things is right over there in that blue section. And head over to Joffre Street. I've got two posters to give to Urso. Except that he's not here. Guess I'll have to save those for later. They're just paint jobs for your gear anyway. This guy. You found it so quickly? Wow! This is a new seat I don't have. You are amazing. Bit of background for people who don't know: when the city was built by the Legion, they pretty much destroyed all the plant life. You found so many seeds. How can I thank you? This is my favorite gizmo. It's now yours. That's three HP extracts, so that's another bar. And, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I've got my fourth and final device, my eighth and final ability so yeah I've got all the equipment that's in the game although I might not have I 
I might not have uh, all the upgrades, but I've got all the equipment, so there you go. Actually, before I go too far, I may never use it because I haven't really used any of the devices other than the carrot juice. I wanted to know what the exploding puppet would do. Throw a puppet to attract enemy fire. After taking enough damage, it explodes and slightly damages surrounding enemies within a small area. Gotcha. And here I am, right below the fortress where I need to go. Oh, good. there. Coastal Fortress is only 11% done. I'm at the turret. Or so. You. You just got here? I... Where are you? In the ventilation ducts. Ouch. Uh, don't worry about me. Urso is trying to fit through the ventilation ducts. Ouch. See you at the rooftop turret. I hope Urso is okay. Oh, he's fine. He's just busy trying to lose weight. Exactly am I supposed to get past those? They never shut off. There's no crawl space beneath them. I keep getting shot. And if you hit any of them, you're just instantly 
back to this. There we go. Now he's down there. Not a recharge point, but it's a save point. Save point is down here. There's gotta be some move that makes you temporarily invulnerable or something. I'll have to go back and check my skills. Because, I mean, otherwise I'm just stuck here. Okay. Had to do a guy dang it moment. All you have to do is sprint.
Okay, that's a gate that has to come down from the switch somewhere. Not something to crunch through. Rated. I will remember it. But in a while, I will surely forget it again. Again? This is the third time What's we've your met this excuse guy? this time? I just had my routine checkup. The components in my head are badly rusted. I will soon be sent to the recycling depot. My final task is to report your current location. The depot is where all Legion soldiers end up. No tombstone, no nameplate. Thank you for allowing me to depart in a fitting manner on previous occasions, Virtus and Raiden. My last companion. Do you have a name? Serial number STO007. Go. STO007. Thank you, Raiden. I shall salute the Legion, even when I am at the recycling team. Seriously, that's the it? That's it? I was hoping that something would pop up in his office, but... Oh goody, a boss. Well, I shouldn't call it a boss, more like... in this game actually have a health bar. This guy doesn't, so he's sort of like a sub-boss. An annoying sub-boss. Let's go this way instead and see if there's anything over here. Over this way. Why no? There's the edge of the ocean. Yeah, good job. Let's go kill ourselves. Not. It just teleports you back anyway. Okay, guess there's only one way to go from here. Oh, my God. 
search the piggy bank, get the coins. You are going to need them. Who, Urso or the... Uh... Okay, well, never mind. You not really pack a heavy punch. Are you nearby? <laughs> I wish I could come down and throw a few punches for you. Stop messing around. Sink your location now. Let's race. See who gets to the turret first. Ow! Ooh, that hurts. I told you to lose weight. See you at the turret. <laughs> And the answer, Dairuger, is apparently not very well. From the sound of that, ouch. I think he sort of just kind of fell through.
I don't know. I don't know you. I'll get the timing on this right instead of taking spikes. Urso, sync your location now. What? Far are you? I'm not fat. The ducks ugh, are just too narrow. You're too fat. See you at the rooftop turret. No, just room full of bad guys. Three health bars. I'm gonna die. Because that is every last bit of every secondary I've got, and I've got three hit points left. I 
am unstoppable! Hold it. Throw me into the spikes. And corner me over in the corner where I can't get out of it. Land on spikes, land on spikes, land on spikes, land on spikes. Land in the middle of the air, land on spikes. Thank you, now I can finally drink some carrot juice. bar for him, last health bar for me. Dead. Got to get down the timing on that damn parry. Oh, he snatched me out of the middle of a move.
Hardly breathe in there. They should use wider ducts. You're just in time. Quick. Need to get to the super cannon on the roof. Uh, let me see. This maintenance passage will take us straight there. Once you go up, there is no turning back. Don't worry. I won't turn back now. It's all for Torch City. And of course, you gotta find and fight Cicero. How about you actually, you know, dash? That'd be great. Correct key mark. Like that one. Out of carrot juice. Dead.
Oh, come on. The trick is figuring out the sprints, the timing of all your sprints. So there you go, we've unlocked all of the teleports. If you'll give me just a minute, I'm going to put some something in my water bottle. Be right back. Alright, I have returned, so let's continue. You're here at last. This is your last chance. Put down your weapon. Damn it! You killed her! Why do you keep making one mistake after another? The <sighs> Legion came in six years ago. Ferdersons fought with all their might, but only delayed the inevitable failure by a few months. Just when I thought it was all over for me, I was given the chance to be reborn. Their flesh was too weak, leaving Ferdersons powerless to defend themselves. Even if they should defeat the Legion, another threat will follow, and another after that. The spark changes everything. Ferdersons shall fear no one from now on. I've sacrificed everything for this moment. I served the Legion. I was called a traitor by you. I even killed my own kind with my own hands. I don't expect you to understand me. Visionaries always walk in the shadow before the dawn. 
Heartless monster! Come, old friend. Let the strongest prevail. I know that you're not interested in idealistic philosophy. And three health bars again. Break. And he can do that, apparently. Except maybe me if I can figure out the timing on the damn carries. Okay, I'm gonna lose this one. I won't spare you. There I go, I just lost it. Idealistic philosophy. I fight for my ideals. What about you? We 
Would you get far enough away that I can use pop and carrot juice? Thank you. Would you get out of my face so I can... It's either death or victory. Spear! I won't spare you, <laughs> Nothing can stop me! Well, there goes the last of my hit points. Great. Break. Your flesh is not strong enough. You get to his third health bar and he goes into hyper active mode. I know that you're not interested in idealistic philosophy. He's already drained almost half my health. Never mind, I'll just sit here and die. I know that you're not interested in idealistic philosophy. <laughs> All right, D-Factor. Sleep well. Break. 
And thanks for coming. I appreciate your support. You slow down, Thank you for the, thank you for giving the bad guys six hit combos. I really appreciate that, developers. On the other hand, I do want to add, thank you developers for not making me sit through Cicero's entire spiel every time I have to redo the fight. That really annoys me when I have to sit through some big long dialogue every single time. I know that you're not interested in idealistic philosophy. <laughs> No, that was not an opening. It's either death or victory. Gotta let Nix in. It's either death or victory. You think you can see? 
save Torch City. What Torch City wants is freedom. Your idea of freedom is wearing the Iron Dog's straitjacket for all eternity? Your eyes are blinded by your meaningless pride. It's not morals that determine what species will survive a disaster. It's the wisdom to face and adapt to reality. My master plan will be realized soon. You cannot stop me! Oh, of course there's another battle. Ray, come in! I see him. Cicero. I actually just managed to defeat him. I told you! You've been underestimating yourself all this time! Ray, Torch City and its Spurtisans are all counting on you now. Activate both elevators, huh? Oh, great. I wasn't expecting this kind of puzzle. Okay, so there's a door up there that I have to activate from somewhere down here. Oh, great. That one's still not open. But of course, now that one's not open. And if that one's not open, I can't get back to that, and blah, 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 blah. 
that one.
and back down. And back down. Because I forgot about the damn ones on the roof. repeatedly dying on this But unfortunately, this top one happens to get right there in the corner. Thank you. I want off this goddamn level. Thank you. And that should be the other elevator. final encounter with, well, an ambush first, and then the final encounter with Cicero.
Oh great, new configuration. That was the last of the ambush, thank God. Eighty seven percent done. I have a feeling, and I was right. Yes, let's go face Cicero and get it done. You want to protect Torch City, but you refuse to change! The spark is the only power that Torch City can rely on! By seeking the power of an object, you've already lost what truly matters. You do not know the true meaning of power! Adapt or die! The spark makes us stronger! on your second health bar. <laughs> the 
artisans could have evolved into a more logical and more perfect race. And then what? Become the Legion's puppets for all eternity? This kind of future is, is worth fighting for. You win, Raiden. And there you go. Fist forged in Shadow Torch. There is some cleanup there, you know, the, it, it, it doesn't have New Game Plus, but even after the game's over, you can continue searching the area and finish off any collectibles that you didn't have. And of course, it becomes increasingly obvious that it was a Chinese team. Still, pretty impressive, all considered for, you know, for what he is. The fact that I actually even considered streaming a Metroidvania is a compliment in and of itself. I don't normally like this style of game, but this one has a story that's solid enough to pull me into it. Anyway, I'm not going to bother trying to do the... Uh... I'm not going to bother trying to do the collectible cleanup on camera. So that's going to be it for tonight. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm probably going to stream some other third-person game for uh, because I know Die Ruger has a problem with, uh, with motion sickness and first-person games. So I'm thinking either Remember Me or L.A. Noir. So that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you for coming. A reminder for anyone new who wants to support the channel, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you for coming and have a great rest of your day.